Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and today we do yet another product review. Uh, today it is going to be the Fnatic Club Sport. Is that? Ah, yes it is. The Fnatic Club Sport... The Fnatic Club Sport Steering Wheel Formula version 2.5 X. God, they gotta work on their names. So the version 2.5 X is actually the most expensive of three formula style steering wheels offered by Fnatic, with the most recently released actually being the Formula One Esports uh, official version. That one is $270. Then there's the version 2.5, which aesthetically, in my opinion, looks better than the 2.5X. That is for $350, but is only PC and PlayStation support. And at the top of the lineup is the version 2.5X, which is officially licensed for Xbox, and even with Fnatic's own F1 Esports official steering wheel, um, for whatever reason that one isn't licensed by Xbox in any way, shape, or form. So this is one of the things that I wanted to discuss here, kind of throughout this video, as well as this wheel itself. So today we'll actually be uh, driving around uh, F1 2021 because the set of courts, uh, um, Yes, it works with this formula style wheel, but this just feels more at home as I'm discussing also the other Formula One wheels or the formula wheels. So immediately, um, the wheel, in my opinion, actually is pretty decently high quality. The front plate is officially, well, actual carbon fiber. The Alcantara feels pretty good, although I would personally prefer the leather, so that's where I almost would want to recommend doing the lower version, the 2.5 non-X version. So the wheel itself, like I was stating earlier, has three different dials, has two different analog joysticks, has two different kind of like, I don't even know what you want to call them, like um, three-way switches, as well as some like thumb dials, and has a lot of buttons to be quite frank. And considering that the eSports version doesn't have any dials, I think I actually like the look better on this uh, version. So with the theory uh, central dials on this wheel, it offers a lot of adjustability during a race, like adjusting your brake biases, if you have any other like um, custom settings that you have mapped to those dials that you want to like switch up. Um, maybe you could, I wonder if you could set up to like uh, having different um, messages that you could send to pit and then you'd have like a pit message button and you just change the dial on the wheel i mean it having three dials one of which is um only like a four switch and the other two i want to say go up to 12 or 13 it offers a ton ton and ton a ton of customization or more or less flexibility and that is something that i really do like seeing even though that I get overwhelmed with it, I do like the opportunity of being able to adjust things on the fly, especially if you are um, one of those types of people who likes to have all sorts of um, adjustability on the wheel itself. Now, the other thing, too, is that the uh, controller also does, or the wheel does all offer a little LED screen that is also flexible, where you can... Uh, tell it to display what gear you're in, you know, how fast you're going in kilometers or miles an hour, uh, maybe even your car RPM. And the one thing that I do love the most about this wheel is the rev lights. And the rev lights I really do like because even in my peripherals, I'm, I'm quite high up, so it's a little bit, instead of right in front of my face, if I was actually in the proper uh, seating position for Formula One, um, I can see quite well in my peripherals um, exactly where I am in the rev limiter range. And even though, yes, I could look at the screen, having it on the wheel itself is also quite nice if you are one of those individuals who like to get rid of all sorts of you know HUD displays and you just want to see the car itself on the track. 
and nothing else. And the rev lights are very bright, so there is no way that you're going to miss them at all. I also can't forget to state that the button caps can be swapped out as it does include uh, a couple of stickers and then it also includes some other you know, button caps for like, um, <laughs> I was going to say like windshield wipers, you know, that kind of stuff, but F1 cars don't have that, so ignore that. I'd imagine that there's a button or two for like um, DRS or, um, you know, pit confirm, that kind of stuff. And even though this wheel is much higher of a quality of the McLaren GT3 wheel, it does use the same button caps, which means uh, there is every one of these buttons on both the GT3 wheel and this wheel. There is a little extra plastic flash on it where you would have to probably file it down to make it you know, nice and smooth all the way around. And the button caps themselves are not higher quality. I know with the GT3 wheel, I had actually uh, attempted to take off one of the buttons to change it out just to see how it worked and actually cracked the button itself so I had to super glue the button back together. So honestly, the, the buttons are stupid cheap and it's, it's not a good quality. But, you know, when you do fit them on to the receiving end where you're able to click the button down, um, fortunately that's something that you're not really concerned with like it, it feels like a good button it almost as good as of quality um, as like an Xbox One controllers button click. I also can't forget to state how the formula wheel fortunately as an offset to kind of its larger uh, price increase over like the eSports version actually does offer the really nice um, metallic uh, quick release versus the kind of cheap plasticky you'd have to twist it on type thing and to be quite frank I've seen a lot of people have issues with that kind of standard plastic quick release where the CSL DD's um, force feedback and torque power actually destroy it so the fact that uh, Fnatic actually includes that with this wheel means that they're they're, they mean business with it. I, mean, I do really appreciate the metallic quick release. So no, the quick release is a really nice added extra to it with everything all said and done. Um, being the fact that it is the only Xbox version formula style wheel, it is really nice to have that metallic quick release knowing that it's not going to break on you versus the plastic counterpart. So the quality wise, it is actually really well done this wheel because in most Fnatic pro products, like in the McLaren CSL GT3 version 2, it's there's a lot of open hollow space in the wheel, so it gives this unnecessary kind of plasticky feel to it. When you tap on it, it sounds hollow, so it instinctively feels like lower quality. Um, but considering that this wheel itself has an actual carbon fiber front plate, it is so much higher quality than any of the other wheels in their lineup. Uh, because even with like the Club Sport uh, version two of the Universal Hub, even with that, a lot of their rims don't feel as high of a quality as this. It feels actually decently weighty, definitely not as heavy as the BMW um, version two wheel. I wanna say it's it's not a CSL, but I'll pull it, put it up on screen as well. That one, it seems like it's four pounds or something absolutely, like, insanely heavy for a wheel. This doesn't feel that heavy, but it's got a nice weightiness to it, if that makes sense. Because the example given before, the um, McLaren GT3 wheel, even as well as having its kind of hollow plasticky feel, it's very light, so it definitely gives off more of a toy kind of feeling instead of like a higher quality wheel and yes at 200 bucks it's the cheap one of the cheapest wheels of the Fnatic lineup but you're spending 200 bucks just for a wheel itself you're not even getting pedals or a wheelbase or anything it's it seems like you're paying mostly for McLaren licensing than you are for any quality which you know to be fair you kind of are and as I was kind of discussing earlier one of the things that I found most interesting is if you have a Xbox and you have a CSL DD, I'm pretty sure this wheel is the only wheel that works. And I do find that a little bit disappointing considering that Fnatic has got 
you know, loads of options for other games uh, where you can have like the, a, a ton of different options for like the rims or you can have like the flat rims or circular rims. But the formula rims don't really aren't really talked about a whole lot because the only other two options are the standard version two, which is natively compatible with PC and PlayStation. And then the much cheaper uh, official eSports, F1 eSports um, sponsored or whatnot wheel. And that one at $270 does not have any, um, doesn't have any dials. It has what looks to be only like 10 buttons. And it looks very plain on the front face. And for $350, you have the uh, PC and PlayStation native uh, formula wheel version 2.5 non-X variety. And that there is, I actually feel like quality-wise, it is slightly higher than the uh, Formula X wheel that I have here, where having like a genuine leather would actually add to the experience. I'm not a huge fan of Alcantara. If, you know, if you are, please let me know in the comments down below. But uh, it seems like the 2.5 and the 2.5X are nearly identical wheels, apart from not having the Xbox logo in the center of the wheel and the leather handles. So yeah, that all being said, it's kind of in a weird spot because I would imagine eventually um, Fanatics might want to add another formula style wheel that is like super high quality, has a lot of buttons kind of in the future, maybe up in like the $500 range. Um, but at the same time too, I don't feel like they necessarily need to do that because this wheel has pretty much everything where Oh, thank you, sir. Um, this wheel has basically everything. You've got your screen, your buttons, you've got your dials, you've got pretty much everything you could ask for. So, unless if they're offering a wheel that does your taxes with you, too, I think this is pretty much all that you'd ever want and more. So, in my opinion, I think it would be kind of fun if Fnatic did actually go the route of getting, like, um, a wheel that looks exactly like a Formula One uh, wheel, kind of like what uh, Thrust Thrustmaster has done, where it's got you know, those kind of weird handles and then like a giant screen in the middle and then all sorts of like colorful buttons and stuff. I think that would be really cool to do. Um, but again, that would definitely have to be probably above the $750 range if they want to increase the quality to that kind of level like they have with a lot of the other wheels. So the feeling of the wheel to drive. This one's been kind of interesting for me to describe because I have found that I want to say the... McLaren GT3 wheel is probably one of my favorite wheels, even though it is very kind of light. Um, this wheel here is, it does have its heavy, I wouldn't say heavy, but it does have its, you know, nice weight to it, where it doesn't feel light and cheap and it doesn't feel too heavy that you are losing force feedback. But the wheel is smaller lengthwise than a lot of other wheels. So I have found that after lawn sessions, my wrists are actually kind of pinched towards the wheel per se. So I don't know, it, it kind of feels slightly smaller than what fits me, but I don't know. If you, if you are a smaller build and has less broad shoulders, um, this might be a little bit more of a better fit than other wheels, and maybe other wheels are too big for you per se. I don't know. The other thing too that I wanted to bring up that um, as well as the nice quality, it does have the Club Sport Advanced Pedal, pedal Module attached uh, pre-installed. So it actually does save you 100 bucks down the road. And it's got a very, 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 very nice magnetic kind of click. I know a lot of people have stated that they dislike the McLaren GT3, GT3's um, shifting. And I can understand it. It does feel kind of clunky, and it, again, it adds to kind of like that plasticky feel of the wheel. But this is like nice, sharp, and it's just like click, 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 and you're up your couple of gears or down the gears. So it, it it's really nice and satisfying having that magnetic uh, kind of clicking mechanism. So as far as price goes, $370 US. As far as Fnatic products go, that's actually kind of a steal, considering that their Universal uh, Club Sport Hub V2 is natively uh, $350 just for the Xbox version, not including any rims. So having something that is nice, compact, 
uh, very high quality. Honestly, I feel like it's a better quality than the Universal Hub. For only $20 more and you get your rim and rev lights, like I said, it's, it's just kind of feels like a steal if you ask me as far as their product lineup goes. But honestly, with this wheel, with all of its great perks, I still can't get over the fact that they that Fnatic does not offer any more Xbox version wheels. Uh, if you have an Xbox, this is literally the only formula style wheel I believe you can actually use that is officially licensed by Xbox and is natively compatible to Xbox games. I don't know if other people have been able to get some of their other wheels to work uh, for like Xbox F1's 2021. Um, this is, as you're watching the f footage, this is on the PC. I don't personally have an Xbox. I don't know, I just, I just can't get that off my mind, where it's everybody's got, you know, the PlayStation version. I think this actually is, also works with PlayStation as well. So the PlayStation users and PCs, PC users have the eSports official one, the, uh, Formula version 2.5, where it's got this really nice white trim and you know some really nice leather feel and as an xbox user you don't get that opportunity to have either like a leather wheel for a vor formula style wheel or you know having cheaper options so that being said there's only one formula style wheel that uh, xbox users can really use which is this one and i'm not going to lie it is a really nice wheel but the lack of option is really disappointing to me I mean, technically, yes, you could use the McLaren GT3 wheel as it is. I don't think it's officially sponsored or licensed for Xbox, but it, you can use it. But it's just kind of weird using a wheel for a car that's not set up. It's like using the GT3 wheel for driving a Fiat 500 or like, I don't know. It, it just feels wrong. It, you lose your sense of immersion where it's... You kind of, yes, this isn't like the official Formula One wheel or anything, but this does definitely add to that level of immersion where you feel like you're actually driving a Formula One car versus losing that sense of immersion. So all in all, I have to say, I absolutely really, really, really enjoy this wheel. It just, part of me wants to go back and get the Formula V2.5, uh, the standard kind of leather with white trim. Uh, because it just looks so good and part of me also wants to get like the F1 esports version just so I can feel like that I'm closer to esports than I ever am <laughs> but I'm I still 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 cannot get over the fact that this is the only wheel in the formula lineup that actually is officially licensed for Xbox so it, it's really I I feel for the Xbox users it seems like that you know on one hand you guys have it really well because you've got the um, Universal Hub that is officially sponsored, but that is like $50 more than the normal version that is native for uh, PC and PlayStation. So, I mean, it's just like... So, again, I just kind of feel for the Xbox users because it's... You guys have a much reduced variety of products versus the PC and the PlayStation variety. Um, the products that you do have are more expensive because for whatever reason to have an official Xbox licensed wheel just costs more so I don't know what the deal is with that and I don't know it's just I feel for you guys I really do it just it kind of sucks that being said the wheel itself is fantastic um, if you guys need it for Xbox you know absolutely buy it I, the no absolutely zero problems with it whatsoever honestly the the shifting is great the quick release is great all the different buttons and dials are amazing uh it just you plug it in and it works and it's fantastic but i can't get over the ecosystem it's just it really just is really garbage I, there's no other way to put it there really isn't so do i think that you should purchase this product the fanatic Club Sport Steering Wheel version 2.5 X. I personally think that you absolutely should. However, there is kind of a side note explanation to all of that. So the the product itself, its quality and its functionality and everything said about that is perfect. And with that alone, I would already be recommending the product. 
But if you are an Xbox user who wants to use this wheel with like another Fnatic um, wheelbase of any variety, whether it be uh, a normal CSL, like the old version, or the CSL DD, or with like a podium wheelbase, your answer, w my answer would have been yes anyway. But if you're like a PlayStation user or a PC user, uh, you have a lot cheaper options. And I'd probably tend to go towards those instead. You might be able to save, you know, 20 bucks by going down to the normal, you know, 2.5 version and might feel even better with the leather um, kind of grips. But if you're really into esports, you could save yourself a ton of money by going down to the official esports, you know, F1 esports version. Yes, it doesn't have all the cool dials and whatnot, but if you're kind of on a budget and you have a PlayStation or a PC, just do that. So that being said, thank you all for watching this quick little review of the Fnatic Club Sport Steering Wheel Formula version 2.5X. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got a lot more content coming up in the future, and actually some Formula One gameplay coming on up. And of course, some actual other reviews of also the McLaren GT3 version 2 wheel. So stay tuned for all that. Of course, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.